The fury unfolding on college campuses for weeks, trying to interrupt fashion's biggest night. The NYPD saying close to a thousand pro Palestinian protesters made their presence felt in Manhattan near last night's famed Met Gala. Officers making several arrests. Property. The protests also impacting this year's graduation season. Following violent clashes between students and police, Atlanta's Emory University says it will move its main graduation ceremony off campus, while Columbia University in New York is canceling its big central celebration altogether. It's deeply saddening. And honestly, uh, I'm very angry. Nathan and Heather Wilson's son, Rory, is graduating from Columbia. It is very disappointing. When protesters broke into Columbia's Hamilton Hall last week, Rory Wilson and a friend say they stepped in to try and stop them. Columbia then calling in the NYPD to clear the building. The Wilsons criticizing the university's handling of the protests. They lost control of security and they ceased to become a place where dialogue and discourse could even happen. Meanwhile, consequences for demonstrators are escalating. At MIT, where Massachusetts State Police cleared camps yesterday, administrators are now threatening to suspend student protesters. Harvard's interim president writing any students remaining in that school's encampment will be referred for involuntary leave. With tensions high on all sides, a new push to combat anti-Semitism launched by Patriots owner Robert Kraft. Bring your passion. Your tenacity. Bring your anger. But don't bring hate to the protest. And again, everybody here at the University of Chicago is obviously aware of this is part of a national movement, a divisive conversation. Case in point, President Biden later this morning is set to deliver the keynote speech at the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum's annual Day of Remembrance celebration. That speech denouncing anti-Semitism and the White House noting it comes seven months after the Hamas attacks on Israel on October 7th. Savannah. Maggie Vespa, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.